What's up everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing the Watt Cycle 12 volt 200 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. We're going to test its capacity. We're going to test its total output. We're going to weigh it. We're going to give it an eco score. Let's get on with the testing. All right, now for this setup, because this is a 200 amp hour battery, this will have a max output of about 2,400 watts. So we're going to use two heaters. All right, so this has stopped at about 1243. Now on our Victron app, it's saying it's pulling about 1355. Let's turn on the other one. Showing here 2453. Now we'll just see if it can hold this for five minutes. Let's restart it. And we'll come back and check it out. I just want to show that the Victron is saying it's pulling 29, almost 3000 watts both the monitor and the app and the inverter saying 2500 and those fans are running loud and strong all right we're at six minutes 21 seconds and it's still going strong the victron is saying it's pulling almost 3000 watts which is insane because the max should be 2400 so let's go ahead and shut her down whoo man now we're going to charge her back up and then run a capacity test all right, we're all charged back up. I'm going to disconnect the charger now. And now we're going to go ahead and turn our inverter on. We're going to run our capacity test now. I'm going to run this thing on low. And now this should run about six, 700 watts. And we'll run it until it's done. All right, we're all tapped out now. Let's plug this in and see what it did. All right, plug this in. It ran for three hours and 29 minutes, and it consumed <laughs> it consumed 2,460 watts. Now, let me go do some math. So 12.8 times 200 gives us 2,560, which is only 100 watt hours shy of this total capacity. And this thing, again, ran for three, over three hours. So... You're going to lose a little bit to things like, you know, it's powering the Victron and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's quite impressive. When it comes to the fit and finish of the Watt Cycle 200 amp hour battery, it's the, the standard plastic construction all, all around it. You do have these nylon strap handles, which should hold up just fine. Now, when it comes to weight, the Watt Cycle weighs in at 44 pounds 12 ounces the watt cycle can be had for 449 that's actually quite comparable to other basic batteries one thing about this it is quite efficient it's actually the second most efficient battery i've ever reviewed so with that said let's go ahead and give it an eco score all right now before we get on to the eco score i just wanted you to see the testing results on the watt cycle 12 volt 200 amp hour battery you can find it on this highlighted fifth line here. Now on to the Eco Score. Now, in terms of price, I found out you can get this battery over at Timu for the very low price of $371.48. Not only that, you can use Rakuten to get an additional 12% cash back. And if you use the link in the description to sign up, you'll get a bonus $30 when you use that link, but only if you use that link to sign up in a description in addition to the 12% cash back, making this thing super duper cheap. Now with all that considered, we have to give this a four. Now as far as performance goes, the battery performs very, very well and it gets a five. As far as efficiency goes, it is actually the second most efficient battery. And even with that, because of its capacity, and it powering the Victron, we probably lost a little bit of capacity to that. So it might be just as efficient as the Wise, and it also gets a five. In terms of features, the Watt Cycle is basically a dumb battery, and it gets a two. In terms of warranty, the warranty is the industry standard five-year warranty. We can't give it a five because the Wise has a 10-year warranty, and it gets a four. In terms of value, especially considering the price for all that you're getting, uh, I would give this definitely a four. 
it doesn't get the five because it doesn't have any smart features like it at, at the very least bluetooth but everything else is a win giving this a grand total of 24 points taking the lead from the wise and making it on this very short list the best battery we've reviewed thus far but stay tuned because we do have two more to review